Oh, yo, your boy can't sleep. <laughs> I'm having night terrors. I'm losing sleep over these bad tablets that's been pushed out here in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Some out here in the community been trying to feed you this garbage, you know, since November MPDs was released, you know what I'm saying? They've been out here telling you that the power narrative is dead. <laughs> and that's the bad tablets they've been trying to feed you. But check the labels. Do not, do not consume this garbage. Nothing could be further from the truth. Hey, yo, it's your boy MM2K back with another one. Before we continue, you know what I'm saying? If you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell for me, please. It means a lot. It helps your boy make it possible to provide you with more doses. Hey, I appreciate all of y'all straight up, no doubt. Now, here's the deal. I, I get why some may believe that. Many look at the trends from the transition from the 6th generation to the 7th generation. Now the 6th generation is PlayStation 2 era, 7th generation is the 360 era. And they believe it relates to what's happening now. Now I've studied those numbers and I've done so even closer than ever before. You know what I'm saying? To try to get into their minds and understand where they're coming from with this stuff. And afterwards, I'm still here to tell you that the power narrative is real. And it plays the biggest role in Sony's success this gen. And I want to explain to you why Microsoft is trying to cash in on the success in lieu of that. So to demonstrate this, I want to talk in three areas. I want to talk MPD trends um, during the sixth and seventh generation, you know, to help them understand, get into the mind state, you know what I'm saying, of these people that are trying to pass off the power narrative as, as something that's false. And I want to then talk about how the power narrative was ushered in this gen, all right? And then lastly, I want to talk about how Microsoft can capitalize and salvage their placing this gen if they do what, it is, what is needed using this power narrative to their advantage, okay? So first, let's, talk, let's tackle the MPDs from the previous gens that have people confused, all right? Now, looking at the 6th gen to the 7th gen, you had the PlayStation 2 that dominated even when the 360 first released. Many people aren't aware of that, you know what I'm saying? The PlayStation 2 beat the 360 pretty much every MPD from the time the 360 released in 2005 up until 2007. You know what I'm saying? So it released like November 2005, I want to say. And I think that they didn't finally win an MPD against the PlayStation 2 until uh, September 2007. You know what I mean? Now that was because back then there were so many exclusives for the PlayStation 2 that the new age games that was coming out in the 360 era didn't really start, you know, coming out in droves yet on the newer console, you know what I'm saying? But once they did, and couple that with the fact that the PlayStation family started to lose exclusivity to the big name titles like Grand Theft Auto and Final Fantasy, a new narrative was drawn, okay? It became more about the console experience. You know what I'm saying? Now, the 360 had, you know, Xbox Live. It had demos, you know what I'm saying, that it gave you access to. And then it had a smooth online experience with Xbox Live. And it also topped it off with a multimedia integration that won the day. You know what I'm saying? So all that coupled in made the console experience king because it wasn't about the exclusives anymore because the exclusives that people really, really wanted to play was now available cross platforms. You know what I'm saying? So you take that into consideration and something else to think about is if the exclusives are now available on, on both platforms, the exclusives were, you know, more or less like an added bonus. However, the multiplats, again, like the GTAs and the Call of Duties that came out then stole the show. Now, people want to say, hey, you had new hardware, you know what I'm saying, that lost MPD. They talking about the Xbox One X and the Xbox One family in particular when it released. So it doesn't matter. Well, this ain't new. This ain't the first time that popular new hardware came out and it lost the MPD the month that it was released. Hey, again, let's look at the numbers. 5,000 feet, as we say in the business, but we want to look at it from high in the sky. The Wii, <laughs> when it released, lost to the 360, okay? You want, you want to talk that business. And we all know that the Wii decimated both the 360 and the PlayStation 3 and console sales. So again, it was all about the console and the console experience that shaped the narrative last gen, okay? So this gen, again, because multi-plat games that people really want to play, the Call of Duties, 
the Maddens, the, the 2Ks, whatever the case may be, they're available cross-platform. So, and those are the games that people again most play, more more or less so, more so than the console exclusive. Um, so that console experience has been more defined this generation. It was more geared towards power. 1080p makes you a better gamer. It's that, you know what I'm saying? As we said time and time again, the Xbox system, this generation was plagued with bad news as how you know weak it was, how it was more expensive, how people didn't like the DRM, you know what I'm saying? But particularly how weak it was, you know what I'm saying? Because the people that flocked in droves to the PlayStation 4 don't even know what the hell DRM is. You know, you pull five cans of people off the street that picked up PlayStation 4 and say, what you think about that DRM? And they gonna say, who the hell is that? That the, the, the old rock group from the 90s? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Now, you had people like Digital Foundry that came in the fame them because they were doing the comparisons on the power. Then you went to various outlets where gamers were told, hey, if you want the best performing multiplex, get them on the PlayStation 4. And then lastly, the game companies themselves, you know what I'm saying? They capitalize on it like the game company was with Sony. You know what I'm saying? And you can't blame them for that. But the final nail in the coffin, if you want to look at MPDs, you want to look at numbers, and you want to look at trends, the final nail in the coffin came in 2014. In 2014, that gap widened. That's when it widened two to one. Now, you really started to see this gap really go gangbusters in favor of PlayStation when this happened. It came in a form, the final nail in the coffin came in the form of Kojima himself, if you follow the trend. Now, Kojima's a longtime Sony fanboy, to say the least, you know what I'm saying? But he is very respected in the gaming community, and he's known. He's known to the hardcore, and he's also known to the casuals, because, you know, uh, Metal Gear was is a big-time uh, uh, game, even to a lot of casuals, you know what I'm saying? Now, he proclaimed in a very popular article at that time that the PlayStation 4 can do 1080p at 60 frames per second with room to spare. This was big. Here it is proclaimed all over the news waves from gaming outlets, from the one of the most recognizable figures. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they went crazy, those news outlets. You know what I'm saying? The power narrative was defined. It was over. After that, the gap in sales. If you look at when he dropped that article, when he made that announcement in February 2014, between that and when the PlayStation 4 just grew in this gap, the Xbox you know, just was, was, was done for. You know what I'm saying? Now again, this is happening the same year that Microsoft dropped its price of the system and got rid of the Kinect. There were no exclusives that dropped for the PlayStation 4 that it would explain the, the game narrative that people want you to believe. You know what I'm saying? During that time. Just the pushing of the power narrative like we said time and time again. And particularly even further, again, by one of game's most recognized figures. This was huge at the time. The game media went bananas with this. At the time, I was listening particularly to Bobby Blackwolf and Orange Lounge Radio, you know what I'm saying? Look, those guys come straight down the middle and check out Vogue Network, those, those are podcasts that I recommend outside my Triple B brother. you know what I'm saying? Those guys came straight out the middle and they said it themselves, they look man, the thing is, if the sentiment is going to be the power narrative, this gen is all about 1080p who can hit that the most and frame rates who can do that 60 frames per second the most with these console games that's it period so i don't even know why everybody's acting surprised when walking in the stores personally you know what i'm saying i would see this scenario happen all the time i'm about to explain it, you know what i'm saying now you got joe blow to walk into the brick and mortar and he's trying to decide which console he's going to pick so you know once you walk into the store you're propositioned with this now you know what i'm saying joe mr joe blow you can get that Xbox One if you like Halo and Gears and their exclusives, but if you play mainly single player or multi-plat third party games, you'll want the PlayStation 4. Therefore, if I'm Joe Blow and I'm, sitting, I'm thinking about that, it was a no-brainer because Halo and Gears were not even out yet. They weren't on the horizon. And even then, people cared more in totality about the multi-plats, period. So with that said, <laughs> Again, with the proof out there, everything out there on the table, here's what Microsoft is hoping to capitalize off of 
in regards to the power narrative. They're hoping that with its revamped consoles, they can usher in some success with this power narrative. However, what Microsoft has to understand and what they have to do is they gotta understand that marketing is key. They have to get more of the base to understand the revamp power that is in the Xbox One S with this 4K upscale, which to me is beautiful and is phenomenal for a $200 console, you know what I'm saying? And the array of capabilities of the Xbox One X. Failure for them to do so will leave this gen a total bust and they will not be able to capitalize on the power narrative. But even if they don't capitalize on the power narrative, it still existed and you gotta give Cody I mean, kudos to Sony for being able to capitalize on it. Now, the question is, can Xbox make a complete comeback and completely wipe out Sony's gap? No. <laughs> but they can make a huge dent globally in the multi plat sales, and they can compete here in the Americas if they do more fanfare and fight for that mind share. And that's it from your boy MM2K, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below, you know what I'm saying? Like I always say, you can come with me, you can come at me, you know what I'm saying? It makes me no difference, I want to hear what you got to say, you know what I'm saying? And if you want more, like my boys The Roots, you know where to catch me. I'm on the corner of every bulletin board, you know what I'm saying? Check out my links below to follow me. Yo, I got a show with your boys, TRS, Killer Hill, we doing one today, Scram Pops. You know what I'm saying? We do it weekly. Check out the pntsnetwork.com or check your boy out on Twitter at MM2K to see when we drop in that episode today. You know what I'm saying? But last but not least, support the broadband bullies. Check out that Patreon link. Check out that Discord link below. You know what I'm saying? It's a new Discord link. We're doing it big. I'm keeping my mouth shut because I want this to be a surprise. But you know what I'm saying? Some good stuff is coming. And as always... Even though they try to tell you otherwise and they giving you bad tablets, it's gonna mess with your insides, you know what I'm saying? Get the, get the medicine from the doctor. Doctor spreadsheets right here, baby. You have a wonderful gaming day.